Yeah, today I, I want to show how uh, Angular can use a uh, web assembly. So uh, recently I, I took a web assembly course that uh, uses um, the assembly script to write um, like write TypeScript code, and then the assembly script has some uh, command that can uh, compile the TypeScript uh, like code into a uh, WASM file. Um, so, so to answer Rose's question, I, I followed this uh, assembly script .org. It, it has um, a get things started uh, guide. I followed these steps to generate uh, the, the project, right? And then uh, after that, it, it has this uh, uh, as assembly script project and then in the package dot json it the, this uh, assembly script like add these um um uh command for me so i run like npm run as build and then it builds a lot of um files uh for me like release wasm like debug wasm and, and some um js file so in, in my demo i have um all, all the like assembly script function in in the index uh ts file so in, in order to um um make these uh web assembly uh code available i either write all the function in index.ts or i write the logic in other like typescript files and remember to export the the code in the in, uh, index.ts before i run them npm run as build to generate these um uh wasm file in a build folder so in my demo i have like three very like simple um function one is take an integer and determine whether or not it's a prime number the other function is to return the first n uh, number of prime numbers and then uh yeah and then the last function is um Oh, there's one, two. There, there's one more. Um, maybe I didn't pull the latest code. The other is given an integer like a uh, hundred, like return all the prime number that is less than hundred. And then um, the web assembly uh, code is available in release dot uh, wasm. So it's called web assembly is because the the, the code is uh, compiled into assembly uh, code, and then the assembly code can run natively in, in the web. That's how I interpret web assembly. So normally can, the-, can, the I, can I add one thing? Uh, yes. Web assembly is a way that you can add little things that are basically, it's it's very, very, very fast. Mm -hmm. uh, yes. So it can it's something that you can do that will help your, your apps and it's wicked fast. Yeah. And I only know TypeScript. Like normally people will use like a Go or Rust because Go and Rust are can run like can 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 write code that runs very fast or something that is really slow in javascript and you find out that uh it, the performance can be improved by using other like uh server side languages such as uh, rust so normally the the, the wasm file should be in a server side uh application such as an express app and, and then stream back to the front end for me i i, I cheated by copying the the, the wasm file uh, into um into the asset uh folder <laughs> in the asset folder uh of my angular application and then i write um and then i write a web assembly loader surface that um depends on assembly script loader to uh stream the the wasm file connie can rare is ask yes. a question oh okay yeah, uh, no, I was j just uh, I just wanted to add the comment that uh, since this these are two projects, that was the reason that I wasn't finding the, the code for the release, uh, the, the compiled release wasn't filed. So, yeah, because they're two projects, but I believe with some tweaks on the TS config app, uh, configuration and uh, and adding a couple of more uh, granular uh, 
you know, uh, targeted uh, uh, configs, we might be able to to integrate the uh, WebAssembly, the the assembly script into the uh, Angular project. Uh, that I, I uh, that I don't know because for me I I need two projects to get it to to work. I want to remind everybody, and I I don't mind at all that you don't know all the answers because remember Connie told us she just learned this like almost yesterday, right? But mm -hmm. uh, I really love that you brought this topic to share with us, Connie, because WebAssembly is hella powerful. Like there, it's it's this is not some brand new thing that Connie just came up with. Like WebAssembly has been around for a while and it's extremely powerful. Um, and it's actually something that's used, I think, quite a bit at Stacklets, if I'm not, because uh, because Dominic Elm is, is at Stacklets. Uh, he's the guy that taught us about it um, last year. So this is a very, very, very powerful tool. Uh, and so it's okay that we don't know everything about it. These are really great questions. Um, but I just wanted to say I'm really happy to see this as a topic because it's something that um, if you're getting into like really full stack and architecture and stuff like that, this is really something that's a very good tool for you to know about. Anyway, okay. Sorry for the interruption, Connie. We'll That's go back okay. on mute and let you continue. Good question though, Rares, thank you. Or comment, because Rares is trying to use this too. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am uh, trying to understand it. So thanks, thanks, Connie. Thanks, Connie. Okay, continue, we'll go back on mute. Yeah, so for this load, loader, I check whether or not the, the browser support uh, uh, instantiate uh, streaming. If it doesn't, I need to use the fallback which is very similar except i i need to uh fetch the wasm file and uh get the array buffer and and then uh construct the construct the web assembly uh, instance so this uh import um is up here uh the abort must be provided otherwise the the code doesn't compile and this prime number lot um, is actually an like this external function in my web assembly project. I want to lock the the prime number, but the lock uh, the locking definition I want it to be provided by whoever like uses this um web assembly uh, code. So in, in this um loader, I I, I set uh the, the index file uh the definition of prime number load is a function that accepts a number and con console log um the, the prime number so so this is the the loader um it is used to uh load the release dot wasm file in uh in in this uh asset folder and then in a different um component i i try to um I try to use this uh, um, WebAssembly instance to get um, the, the 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 function that find the first n prime number and other um, other utility function that the loader uh, provide. I need the get array um, function here because WebAssembly doesn't transfer high level um, data structure. So. So I need to use this get array um, function to construct the final answer out. Uh, otherwise, like find first prime returns a gibberish like number that make no sense to the to the to the person who uses uh, my Angular application. So, so let's see. Let's see. So if I say five, uh, it doesn't, it doesn't, it doesn't even return anything. So let me go back to the original code. So. So if I type, let's see. If I type a number, it returns an array of uh, prime numbers. 
and then if I type a uh, integer here, it returns whether or not an integer is a prime number. And the third example return all the prime numbers uh, that are less than one one thousand. So I think WebAssembly uh, can be very powerful when you need to uh, do something that needs to be very very fast. So you, you use the loader to st do to stream over sim file to to get the WebAssembly instant back. Uh, get get the function and call in the front front end to get your get get your answer back. So this one I need to do this because um its prime returns one for true and, and zero for false so I need to compare the integer result with uh with one so that I know whether or not a prime number is uh, inputted by the user or not. So the other example is also similar, like get the get this uh, function back, uh, accept an integer input, and then uh, get back an array of prime numbers that is uh, less than uh, the, the input. So this is uh, what, what I want to uh, show today. It's because I never know what, what WebAssembly is, is good for. I, I know it exists, but I don't know how it can be used in, in, in front end application. Um, until now, because I found out that it's not that hard to uh, to use the was was file in a front end application. So, yeah, this is what I want to show uh, tonight. Very nice, very nice. Does anybody have thank, questions thank for Connie? Okay, uh, can you guys come off mute for a minute and help me give Connie a good thank you? Thank you, Connie. Thank you, thank you, Connie. Thanks, Connie. Thanks, Connie. You're welcome. Okay.